Hello everyone and welcome back to the Wandering Wind Search. Today we are reading Day 7 of the, Reco the Life Recovery Devotional. And it is titled, The End of Ourselves. Our Bible reading for today is Psalm 116, 1 through 9. Step 1. We admitted that we were powerless over our dependencies and that our lives had become unmanageable. For some of us, we have to stare death in the face before we can admit our need for help. We may experience a crisis where we literally come close to death, or we may be overwhelmed by depression, suicidal tendencies, and self-destructive behaviors. Sometimes it is our hopelessness and despair that act as a springboard, driving us into recovery. When we realize that we are at the end of ourselves, we may find the humility to reach out and accept the help we need. King David, whom God loved dearly, felt this way too. He once said, The pains of death surrounded me, and the pangs of Sheol laid hold of me. I found trouble and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. O oh God, I implore you, deliver my soul. What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits toward me? I will take up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. Oh, that is good, that is good. David had hit bottom. He had finally come to the point of realizing that he had nothing to offer except an empty cup, a life in need of salvation. What did he have left to offer? All he had was a sacrifice of thanksgiving. When we have reached our darkest hour and feel that all hope is lost, we may be closer to the help we need than ever before. When death stares us in the face and we realize that our cup is empty, we can lift up our empty cup by admitting our powerlessness and thus open up to salvation. In time, we too will be able to be thankful once again. Staring death in the face can be a starting point for recovery. So I don't know exactly how to talk about this one because I never stared death in the face directly because of my addiction. However, I, I have stared death in the face indirectly because of the fact that with my eating being what it was and with my drinking getting as bad as it did, I was looking at a slow and painful decline towards death. Maybe not immediately, maybe not in the moment, but if I'd have continued to drink and damaged my liver more and more by the year, I would have ended up unable to function. If I'd have continued to eat like I did and gained more and more pounds, I would have probably ended up in an early grave at the age of 40, 45. So in that way, I have stared death indirectly in the face and said, I'm good. For those of us that have actually stared at him in the face directly and said, wow, you're scary. All right, not today. I, I applaud you for being, I applaud God for carrying you through that. And I applaud you for being able to go, okay, that's close enough. I'm going the opposite way. To repent is a hard road but it is worth it every moment thank you guys for listening and watching hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you again soon god bless you take care of yourselves